Greetings, it is I, Dr. Egg. Today's review is on Netflix Nemesis Prime. A bit of context on the character. Nemesis Prime, aka Scourge, aka Black Convoy, was a character that was introduced in the Transformers Robots in Disguise show. No, not that one. We don't talk about that one. This one, the 2001 show. And he was basically an evil clone of Optimus Prime. Ever since then, a black repaint of Optimus became common. That's pretty much it about Nemesis Prime. And before we talk about the figure, there are actually two other figures we have to talk about. This is Giza. Giza? Giza? Gize? Glizzy? Glizzy. The actual body on this looks really nice, but the wings are way, way too long. This is because he turns into a sword. A very good looking sword. I think this is the only Transformer that I display in alt mode. I just can't get over the stupid long wings. The next figure is Fangtron, a pink repaint of Slitherfang. Did they both really have to have Fang in their name? You could have at least called this one Slither Tooth. This is a very poseable little snake. He transforms into one of two things. A shield for Nemesis? And a road for Micromasters. But say it with me, I don't care about Micromasters. Okay, now we can get on to Nemesis. This is a repaint of the Siege Optimus Prime. One of the best figures ever. J straight up. Yes, I love this thing. And the Nemesis paint job makes it even better. The pitch black, those blood red windows, and that teal. Oh, that teal. I would compare it to the Siege Optimus Prime if I had it. Moving on to accessories, you get the same gun from the Siege Prime, you get a sword, this blast effect, these two arm cannons, and the trailer from Earthrise Prime. It is the exact same trailer. It opens up, it has the anti-aircraft gun, it has this bit at the bottom that helps it stand up, this part can come off the back door and become a shield. Two shields. Why? You also get some Energon cubes, but you have to dig through Play-Doh to get them. Yes, they included Play-Doh with this figure. Why? Moving on to articulation, head is on a ball joint, can go up, down, left, and right. Shoulders go all the way around and out. Bicep rotation, elbow bend, wrist rotation, waist rotation. Leg goes up that far, back that far, and out that far. Thigh rotation, knee bend, knee rotation, and an ankle pivot. Posability is basic, but still really nice. At first I didn't like this transformation. It was very finicky and annoying, and the front wheels refused to come out. But I found out how they work, and the transformation is a lot more fun now. This is a really nice looking truck. I love the Gatling guns on the front. The clear red lights and grill section. It even looks good with the trailer. Now for the final verdict. I was going to judge it as just the figure, but I think it would be better to judge it as a whole set. Nemesis himself is a 10 out of 10. Fangtron is a 6 out of 10. Giza is a 3 out of 10. And the accessories, I think I'm gonna give them a 5 out of 10. But overall, I think I'm going to give the whole set an 8 out of 10. That's it for me. 
Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, join my Discord server and subscribe to the Great Sound Wave. I'll see you next time.